Hi, in continuation to my previous post on how to create a simple web service, now I'm going to show how to invoke the same from a Java program using web service proxy. So I'll go ahead and create a new application. Just name it as sample web service proxy. Web service proxy project. Okay, and just go say new and from the web service tabs on the business layer I'm going to select web service proxy so this is going to start wizard where it's going to ask me the client style which is I'm going to select the web service style and not the RPC so it's asking me to give the visual URL so I have the visual URL of the calculator web service which I created uh, in the previous post I'm just going to use it so you can see this has been uh, deployed to my integrated server which is currently running on technology preview 4 so just paste the url say next and just say next 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 don't want to do anything advanced over here it's a very simple web service proxy so i'm going to go ahead with the default settings say finish it creates the web service proxy class so you can see here a lot of java files have been generated for the corresponding web service so now we can use these to invoke the web service from a java program which obviously can be used on any page as a button or so so what i'm going to do is create a simple java class say invoke okay Just method Invoke web service and pass parameters for the calculator so it will be in the comma in p okay now um, what we have to do is I need to create a object for this class which is nothing but the calculator web service underscore service so we'll just create an object for that Later, just say CS equal to new. Okay, and then I need to create a port which is of the type calculator web service. Oh, it is equal to cs dot get calculator this HTTP port. So this is done. I'm just going to include it. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Now I can just use this port and invoke any method which has been exposed as part of the web service. So I'll just create an output variable result is equal to port dot so as you can see I get a number of all the methods which have been exposed in the web service so I'll use uh, go with that add a comma b here you go now we can just invoke this and get the result and for our testing sake I'll just have a experience the result just like this I think that should do for now then I'll just create a main function Just test the method. Just going to say two comma three. That should do. I'm just going to run this and log. We'll say result is printed as five. 
So this is as simple as that. Now what we have done so far is we created the web servers in the previous application and then we export and then use web service proxy for that web service and we invoked it using Java. So now we can just go ahead and right click on this, create data control. Once you do this, you get a data control generator for the same Java program. Now we can just drag and drop it on any page as a button and just invoke the web service. Thank you.